Aloha Ecamm family, yes it is time again for another dope update for Ecamm Live 4.0. That's right, we've just released a new version and with that new version, we added a whole bunch of new stuff that we know you're gonna love. Now one of the most requested features for a very long time is that you could be able to stream to IG Live directly from your desktop. Lucky us, Instagram rolled out an update recently and many accounts have the ability to stream to Instagram. First of all, let me show you how to check to see if you are okay to stream directly to Instagram from your desktop. I'm gonna pop back over here to Instagram, click over here on the side, you'll see create. If you click on create, you'll notice there's a post option and a live video option. If you have the live video option, you're good to go. So you're gonna click on here, you're gonna get something that pops up, and let's just do Ecamm Demo. And then you're gonna select your audience, and you can say you want it to be public, or practice, or whatever. It's okay, I'll click public, I can always delete it. I'm gonna go next, and then you're gonna be given a stream URL and the stream key. All you need from us is the stream key. So copy that, make sure you have that in your clipboard. I highly recommend Clipboard Manager. I'm gonna come over here into Ecamm, press new to generate a brand new stream. I'm gonna go ahead and say I want to add a new destination. And in this particular case, I'll use the add destination as if I don't have one already set up. I'm gonna press broadcast to Instagram Live. There is my URL there. And then I'm gonna pop in here and paste in my stream key. Now, once I add my stream key, I just click add and you'll see Instagram Live is right there, ready to go. All I need to do now is press go live now here in Ecamm and it's going to automatically want to adjust my resolution down to 720. So I'll go ahead and do that now, and you'll see that is live. Pop back over to your Chrome browser. You wait for Instagram to show that you're live in this particular window, and all you do here is press go live. There it is, he's live. He's like, look, people are already chiming in. What's up, India? How you doing? Sitting here doing my Ecamm live demo. And, and of course, this makes me look weird because this scene doesn't have me in the right position. So I got to do a little gangster lean so I can pop in. But you can tell from this particular phone, which you're watching on screen, that it does go directly. Normally, when you're doing your stream on Instagram from a desktop, you're going to set yourself up for 9 by 16 What's cool about Ecamm is I get to leave it at 16 by nine. If anybody is watching on the browser, like here in Safari, you'll see that it's in a full 16 by nine format instead of the nine by 16 format. So this is really cool is that you get to keep your 16 by nine format instead of the nine by 16 format. So you don't have to adjust your aspect ratio in Ecamm and it just comes up looking glory, glory, hallelujah on your regular stream. You guys don't know this, but you're participating in me recording a video for the Ecamm tutorial. All of you guys are gonna be in the tutorial. Deal with it, you're listening to me recording a live demo. Oh, oh damn, the ball showed up. Hey Katie. So now you can see that I am live here in Ecamm going directly to Instagram. If I pull up the browser, you'll see that the live video is there. People are already chiming in. Say what's up to Keith and Katie and India and, and uh, Kenneth who are joining me. You'll see I have the ability to end the live video from here. This is an important thing to know. You must always end it from Instagram and then you can come back and end it from Ecamm. If you end it from Ecamm alone, and don't end it from Instagram, it will keep twirling for a little bit. So when you're ready to finish your show, be sure that you end it over here in your browser first and then come back to Ecamm. This means now you can go live on IG and use your mics. I got my sound effects in there. I can even say bad words. It's a really cool setup. Side note, here's a bonus feature. Notice on the screen right now, if I end my stream, I do have the option to keep recording. That's kind of incredible. So maybe you're doing something for your community and then you wanna keep recording to add a, a follow-up or whatever. You can just press this and say, continue recording. Once again, people, Ecamm Live 4.0 to IG Live is just that simple. Let me run through the steps one more time so you get it locked down. All you need to do is go to your Instagram account in your browser. Click on the side here, you'll see create. On create, you press live video. Add yourself a title, pick your audience. In this case, I'll pick practice. Go ahead and select next. It's going to give you a stream key. Now the stream key changes every time and that's important to know. So copy this to your clipboard, pop back over to Ecamm, click on new, click on the pencil where it says IG Live, 
paste in the brand new stream key like such, press save, and you are good to go. If I press go live now here, switch back over to your browser, wait for the preview to catch up, and once the preview finally catches up, all you need to do is press the go live button right here. If for some reason you don't go live, say you escape out of this and you come back to do it again, you will need to grab the stream key again because the stream key changes every time. That's all you need to know. You're good to go. Now, if you have any questions, comments, feedback, drop them down in the comment section below. Of course, you can reach us at supportdesk at ecamm.com. Ecamm Live 4.0 has so many new features. We got a lot more videos to show you. I'm going to pop a couple of them up on screen right now.